Can you can you tell us anything about this rumored CO two supply tightening in the UK? Yeah, it has. Um, it's been extremely busy for about the last month. Uh, we my phone's ringing off the wall even as we sit here. Um, there's uh, again in the UK, uh, one of the largest sources of uh, the Billingham source has gone down and it's been down for over a month now, and that's creating shortages in the market. Um, some customers that rely on CO2 to keep their plants running are being dried out by their suppliers, and, and we're getting calls every day for people looking uh, to see if we have excess CO2 to bring to them. So we're trying to do our best to help them, although we're you know, we're probably a couple percent market share in this market, a very small player. Um, our supply chain is doing really well right now. Um, not always. We have our struggles just like everybody else, but we've been able to really try to help uh, the customers in our region that we can and help them keep their plants running. So uh, the UK re remains a, a volatile market, a volatile supply and demand balance, and um, it's showing up again right now. Uh, we we think it's going to be over in a couple of weeks, but it's been going on now for about five weeks and uh, it's it's pretty is tight. It, is it just limited to the UK or is it going further afield? Um, really, right now, it's it's primarily the UK and the Republic of Ireland. Um, it, it, that's where it's centered around. Um, the rest of Europe seems to have done pretty well this these day, this summer, this season. Um, so let's hope that it doesn't go any further. Absolutely sure. Well, thanks again, Chris, and we'll certainly keep a close eye on that situation.